What's up YouTube, this is Prince with ATP 101 and in this video I'm going to be going over iOS 7.1, is it faster and what's new. So I have my iPhone 4 right here, it's kind of beaten up, I had to resurrect this thing, I haven't used it in months. So I decided if I'm going to test if it's any faster I should use the iPhone 4 which is should be a sore device because it's on like an A4 chip or whatever. So first, the icon, the phone, um, the phone icon right here, you can see the phone icon and um, the message icon. Also, the FaceTime icon are different. Not really different, but darker. The green is not as bright as it was on the previous version. So that's basically the first um, noticeable um, difference. So if we go into settings where the, most of the other difference are, we could scroll down to where is general. Go to general, accessibility, and scroll down. Right here we have increased contrast. So we go in there, we could change the transparency. So if I go to my control center right here, you could see there's a, it's a little bit transparent. So if I tap that, it's fully dark and you, it's not transparent anymore. So that's what that does. And increase, um, I mean darken colors, basically what that does is, if you see the blue accessibility right up top right up here, you can see that changing a little bit every time I hit that. Makes it bolder and then dimmer. So that's what that does. And down here, reduce uh, white point. Basically, that just dims down your phone. See that when I turn it on, it dims. So that's what that does, guys. That's that's all that does. And the transparency. So if I turn that off and go to home, you can see the dock right here. You can see it's all blue. But when I go back to settings and turn the transparency on. No, it's all grayed out. So that's what that does. That switched that up a little bit. And that's basically that's basically it for all the new features. The, the, um, in 7.1 betas, a couple of the betas they had a darkened keyboard. It's not it's not in this. It's not in the final build. And also different is they add CarPlay for any cars that support CarPlay. Let's go to privacy and show you what I'm talking about. If I go to privacy, is it privacy? I forgot where it's at, but it's in here somewhere, and it shows you that basically CarPlay has been ena enabled for newer, new some newer cars that that's coming out. They should have, um, they should have the new CarPlay function, which is right there. You see right down there, it says CarPlay, so that's new. And also Siri is better, and for iPhone 5s users, the, the fingerprint scanner is a lot faster and. Yeah, that a lot better. So that's basically what's new. And is it faster? Oh yeah, it's definitely faster, guys. This is my iPhone 4, and this thing is moving pretty, pretty snappy. Uh, oh, I keep hitting this thing twice because the home button doesn't work. But it's it's a lot faster. Even notification center, everything just pops up. I mean, everything works a lot faster. Apps open up quicker. If it doesn't have a lot to load, I mean, it's just right now it's snowing where I'm at. So yeah guys that that's basically it. I think it's definitely faster and definitely better. So tell me what you think. Do you have any problems with it? I don't have any problems with it because basically I just have it on my iPhone 4 and not on my iPhone 5S because that's jailbroken. So there will be a jailbreak for the iPhone 4 on 7.1, but I don't think there will be a jailbreak for the newer devices. Only for the A4 devices like the iPhone 4 will be jailbroken on 7.1 so if you have an iphone 4 you can update but if you want your jailbreak do not update with your other devices so that's basically it guys tell me what you think do you like the new features it's not really much but it, it is faster i give them that i give apple especially for the iphone 4 right here they're really looking back to help out the older devices that support it so i give them props for that because it, it is faster i mean and another thing the keyboard Hold up, let's not use that. Let's go to let's go to mail. Let's just try to type something. Now you see the keyboard right here, the the caps lock button. That's changed a little bit. I mean, it looks different right now. I'm not even sure if it's if caps lock is on. So now it's off. So when it's fully darkened, 
so so yeah they changed that up also guys whenever you go to turn your phone off the turn off icon now is different you see that now you just got a cancel and it, the whole thing look different the slide to turn off to have the power off is different so we hit that and when you make a phone call now it doesn't have that big green bar or whatever down here it just have one circle and if i go to call somebody if i go to call somebody now you see right here it has two knobs instead of those two things so that's basically it guys that's hit cancel go to home yeah that's basically it guys for all these new features in 7.1 tell me what you think and tell me if i missed any and what you think about the whole new 7.1 it's prince today tp 101 rate comment and definitely subscribe for more videos like this peace Thank you.